हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो एज वी वे डिस्कसिंग दट फॉर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द फोर्सेस मूमेंट्स पोजिशंस वेलोसिटी और एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ वैक्टर रिलेटेड टू वन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम और रेफरेंस सिस्टम इन अनदर एक्सिस सिस्टम वी नीड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वी नीड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मेट्रिस सो टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी ऑन on excess transformation so there are various methods to do it um so uh, let me uh, put out the um excess systems as we had discussed earlier um so this is our body fixed coordinate system that is xb this is the origin and uh, this is zb and this is yb and we also consider one inertial frame of reference which can be represented in this manner xi yi and z i the origin now the vector which connects from the origin of the inertial frame to the body frame would be the position vector now as uh, i said suppose there is any force vector suppose there is one force vector i should highlight it little more so if this is the force vector in the body frame then we want to know how will it look like in the inertial frame of reference what would be its magnitude what would be its direction and how can we transform this particular vector it might be any vector as i said it might be a position vector of this body or it might be a velocity vector or it might be a force vector or moment vector any any such vector with respect to the body frame so to do the transformation there are many methods however the methods that that are most commonly used uh, in particularly uh, as we are talking about flight mechanics so there are uh, about three uh, most commonly used uh, transformation methods uh those are first is euler angle method second is direction cosine matrices and the third method is quaternions if 
this is also uh, called as Euler parameters however uh, to keep this lecture concise um, we will only discuss about these two methods the viewers can uh, if if they understand these two methods it is very easy to derive uh, this and uh, i would recommend uh, the viewers should go through the relevant books um, and they can do the maths behind this also it's not so, so difficult if you have done this and this euler angles and quaternion methods then this is pretty easy it is see basically the the concept behind it is the same only the formulation is different so that can be done by uh, through some references or um, some 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 little effort okay while talking about these methods i need to uh, uh, tell you one more thing and that is each of these methods has their own advantages as well as limitations so as an engineer you need to see what where you are going to apply this in which situation whether your aircraft is uh, just a just a passenger aircraft or it is a multi role combat aircraft or it is uh, i mean uh, the, the the application point of view the, from the mission point of view the purpose point of view so you need to use uh, uh, the advantages of each method and you need to identify in which application you are going to use it so uh, as earlier discussed the orientation of a given reference frame relative to another reference system is specified by three angles and those three angles uh as we know those are psi which is your which refers to your angle then it is theta which refers to the pitch angle and the phi which which refers to the roll angle this three parameters together are also known as euler angles one more thing i would uh, like to tell here that if uh, any of the viewers uh, want to uh, know the history behind euler angles how they evolved how the how euler was working on those concepts how quaternions euler parameters evolved if anybody wants uh the wants to know the history behind it, it then please uh, uh write it in the comment section i'll make um the one more video dedicated to it uh, it would be uh, more sort of uh, storytelling um, i mean it would be yeah it would be fun if anybody interested in history of mathematics then please uh, write it down in the comment okay so uh, we'll proceed further uh, from here uh, we'll uh, start discussing about the euler angles so uh, mostly uh, for uh, today's uh, lecture we will discuss about the the, the first method 
uh, if type permits uh, permits then we may uh, stretch it little more so uh, let us consider uh, so we, we are consider we are discussing this method i'll write it down so the first method that is euler angles so uh, uh, let us consider two reference systems so uh, one reference system is our body fixed coordinate system and uh, the other uh, reference system is the uh, inertial or earth fixed uh, coordinate system so uh, let me draw it uh, so for okay so this is the body fixed coordinate system i am uh, drawing so this is uh, okay this is the origin and uh, this is x4 y4 and z4 the numbering 4 uh, would be uh, clear little letter um just bear with me right now so now this is z1 this is y1 and this is x1 so this is the origin okay so as uh, we are discussing only about uh, the orientation the transformations related to i mean we are dealing with the euler angles i mean we we are we are not much focused about how it transversed from here to there how it it translated from here to there we are mostly concerned about how the during the course of its motion how the euler angles phi theta psi changed uh we had a pretty uh, uh, a uh, good discussion in the previous lecture about uh, i mean how the euler angles look like so again as a uh, reminder i'll tell that uh, uh, you go through the previous video or uh, uh, the psi theta and phi angles refer to the angular change of the uh, motion with respect to z and uh, uh, y and x respectively so suppose we want to describe the orientation of this uh, coordinate system that is o x4 y4 z4 with respect to o x1 y1 z1 then we need to perform three consecutive rotations and those three consecutive rotations should be one is psi one is theta one is phi after performing these consecutive rotations we can take this reference system to coincide with this co coordinate system or the other way around but we need to do at least these three set of rotations now uh, uh, again we had already discussed this uh, um, i mean what are these psi phi theta are called i'll write it down again here uh, that psi is also known as uh, the uh, as we know it is the yaw angle or it is also known as the heading or azimuth angle similarly theta 
uh, which you know is the pitch angle so also known as inclination similarly phi which is also known as roll angle also known as the bank angle so these uh, uh, these angle the, the, the information about these angles it is like uh, you know uh, when you ride your uh, bike or uh, any sort of uh, road vehicle so you you get uh, certain dials in front of you right so those are indicators of what is your speed what is your i mean uh, the the vehicle parameters they indicate the vehicle parameters so similarly while flying an aircraft the pilot also needs such uh, dials in front of him and these euler angles on the cockpit instrumentation gives the the pilot the knowledge of the orientation of the aircraft the orientation with respect to the earth fixed coordinate system or in other words you can say that the pilot gets the knowledge of the orientation of the aircraft with respect to earth so this sequences of the choice of the rotation that is psi theta phi or phi theta psi or whatever combination you may choose from these three so around exactly you see there are three parameters so you can make at most six combinations for example uh, somebody chose uh, psi uh, theta phi then what you what else can you choose uh, you can choose um, psi phi theta then theta phi psi then theta psi phi then similarly phi theta psi and phi psi theta right so these six Uh, sequences you can at most choose it is uh, when we study rigid body dynamics there is no restriction to any of these uh, uh, sequences however for uh, our convenience uh, in particular uh, aerospace uh, industry uses their own convention and it is uh, known as uh, the psi theta phi convention so that is how i have written this this sequence so in aerospace industry we use psi theta phi it is also known as 3 2 1 sequence okay so as i said there is no restriction about choosing this but it is just a convention so no matter which convention you choose the subsequent formulation and analysis should be consistent with it right so during any derivation uh, or formulation you shouldn't be switching from one uh, sequence to another You should, your 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 formulation should be consistent okay otherwise the formulation will be completely wrong now uh, so once so uh, while using the euler angles Uh, there are some restrictions so what are those restrictions 
we need to be careful uh, is uh, uh, that minus uh, okay psi can vary from minus pi to pi theta can vary from minus plus uh, sorry minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 phi can vary from minus pi to pi so why these uh, uh, restrictions on these Euler parameters in this method uh, is imposed there are various reasons and uh, uh, quickly if I would like to give some example so I would say that in practical situations what we use in aircraft uh, for measuring this uh, these angles so we use mostly gyroscopes let it be a mechanical uh, gyroscope or MEMS based gyroscope it relies on many calibration and transformation matrices those gyroscopes and the data the data they they give in the output that has to be uh, uh, calibrated and it involves some calibration matrix, mat matrices as well as uh, many transformation matrices and those matrices again involve uh, trigonometrical formulations and the output of such devices are most likely subjected to these kind of restrictions however there are other uh, uh, issues uh, involved and as I said the reader should uh, uh, go through um, uh, the re relevant books to find out more in information.